When people talk about things that iPhone has or things that iPhone can do that they wish that their Android phone could do or things that they think iPhone just has that is a leg up over Android, one of the biggest things I always hear about is AirDrop. If you don't know, AirDrop is this neat little thing where you've got a file on your iPhone or your iPad and you can locally wirelessly send it to another Apple device. So iPhone to iPad, iPhone to Mac computer, so forth and so on. And it works pretty doggone well. And it's something that I hear talked about a lot. Well, I have good news for you. Android actually does have something really, really similar called Nearby Share. And in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how it works because it's come to my attention that a lot of people don't know it exists and certainly don't know how to use it. So on your Android device of choice, whatever the file might be, it doesn't really matter. Open up a file browser. Most all Android devices have some sort of file browsing app. Maybe it's Google's file browsing app. Doesn't matter. Really does not matter at all. I'm using CX File Explorer because it's a very flexible uh, file explorer app. But again, it does not matter. From there, you're going to take the app, the, the, the file, I should say, that you're going to try and share. And you probably are going to long press it and look for a share button. Down here, it's under more. We're going to click on share. And then from there, see the first thing that pops up that says nearby? Simply click on nearby. You may be asked to turn on nearby share. Let's go ahead and turn it on. We're looking for other devices. Hey, guess what? My other phone just popped up down here. And this one says to receive files, tap this to become visible. So we're going to tap it. Hey, guess what? We're visible now. Back on the other phone, there's my phone. So we're going to click on it there. Over here, we're going to hit accept because the thing is being sent. And now it is wirelessly sending that file on over. We can click up open downloads and guess what? There that file is. It works really, really well. It's wireless. It's simple. It's easy. It's secure. And it's just that easy to use. Now, another really cool thing about Nearby Share is that it is actually not just relegated to Android devices in terms of phones and tablets. It also works on Chromebooks now too. And on a Chromebook, the uh, process is really similar. So we're going to share this file again. We're going to go to nearby. Okay, we are now sharing. Let's go to my wife's Chromebook Duet. We're going to click down here. We're going to go over to nearby visibility. We're going to click on it to turn it on. The Chromebook has appeared. We're going to select it. There you go. You can simply click accept, which I'm not going to do because I don't actually want that file to be sent to my wife's Chromebook because uh, it doesn't need to be on her Chromebook. But as you can see, the process is super simple and it is exactly the same. So there you go. AirDrop is very good. Nearby Share is also very good. The only place where I really wish that it would like dramatically improve is the fact that it doesn't work on a Windows desktop. You need another solution to move files over to your Windows desktop. The thing I use to do this is I have a, just a network shared drive that I just move files back and forth to. Not quite as automatic or simple, but who knows, maybe one day nearby share will be directly compatible with Windows. That would be a pretty neat thing to have happen. So there you go, guys. Let me know if this is new information to you, if this is useful stuff that you're going to now actually use in your day-to-day -day life. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.